I'm Quinn Carl and I edited the title sequence for the World Athletic Championships Oregon 2022. I'm going to break down the ending sequence where we travel through the arcs of the Hayward logo and land on the main title to close it out. Heads up, this gets very technical. This was something I wanted to include from the beginning. In my initial sketches, I envisioned the entire sequence existing in these arcs of color. My storyboard revised this, adding them as a final flourish to bring it all together. It's essentially two assets with a creative transition. It starts with the arcs, which seem to come alive with athletic energy, then pulls out to reveal a stunning vista of classic Oregon evergreen. The logo for this event combines the World Athletics redesigned shape from 2019 with the official logo of the renovated Hayward Field. I started by rebuilding the arcs logo out of shapes in After Effects. I tried to match the gradient colors as accurately as possible, and I set up a parenting scheme so I could animate each arc individually if needed. Then I found athlete footage to place in the pocket of each arc. Originally, I used these athletes to complete it, but I got edit notes from World Athletics saying the last athlete reminded them of a jack-in-the-box. The arcs and athlete footage live in a pre-comp that is alpha masked by a 3D shape made with the pen tool. This shape travels back in Z-space to land in its final place. Now I could have made two scale keyframes since it's technically getting smaller, however, it's harder to easy ease a decreasing scale value because it's not taking increasing distance from the virtual camera into account. This final shot is taken from Travel Oregon's library of media assets captured around Oregon. I digitally replaced the sky because in the original footage it's all blown out white. I wanted more texture and interest since it makes up so much of the frame on the final logo. I grabbed a stock image from Pexels, upscaled it, and dropped it in there. Tracking was a bit awkward because of the different frame rates, leading to a bit of frame dropping in the final. The final pullout was pretty smooth, but there's still something kind of clunky about the momentum if you watch it 2,000 times like I have. The race walking footage, which had to be inserted in one of the final revision rounds, is plagued by weird frame drops because I was stretching out a shorter clip. Also, in the transition between the After Effects shapes and the final logo PNG, I had to set up very specific Lumetri keyframes so the glow effect, which adds luminance and inner glow, could seamlessly fade out without a visible color switch. I'll be frank, exporting was a real pain in the end. I'm gonna rant about the most technical jabberwocky in this whole project, so here's some kittens. Media Encoder kept failing to render past a certain frame. After hours of troubleshooting, it turned out that a single effect parameter's value on a single layer was overloading the accelerated rendering cache. Then after another revision round, another layer's generator effect wasn't compatible with the highly specific exporting format, a 50 FPS interlace DNX HD .mxf file. <sighs> but it worked in the end. And that's how I created the ending and title card for the Oregon 2022 title sequence. Be sure to check out my channel for additional behind the scenes videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.